air embolism being discussed in this video air embolism may leads to the cvs collapse and further leads to the death depends on the site and the amount of air being in, infused in the circulatory system and the emboli means the air bubbles may trap in the blood vessel or in the heart itself or fat depositions or blood clots and uh, or any foreign object which blocks or trapped in the blood vessel or in the heart in the heart cavity itself may leads to the circulatory collapse and death depends on the severity of the blockage in fact the 5 ml of air infusion via the syringe into the veins may be lethal or may be cause the death in the individual and the air may enter into the circulatory system mainly via the veins the air enter into the venous circulatory system so go and struck into the uh, right heart particularly in the right ventricle because air is compressible but not the blood the air is essentially struck in the ventricle certain amount of air may escapes from the ventricle and go into the uh, circulatory system blood vessels and may causes the blockage of the blood vessel mainly micro blood vessel in the cerebral circulation and other parts of the body here the right side of the uh, the air bubble may go and sit into the circulatory system of the pulmonary blood vessels the pulmonary circulation <coughs> that leads to the increase in the pulmonary artery pressure because of the the blockage in the pulmonary artery terminal parts of the pulmonary artery and increases the right ventricular pressure because of back pressure and the ventilatory perfusion ratio mismatched because of less perfusion to the pulmonary circulation and increases the dead dead space in the pulmonary alveoli so the dead space increases because of the blockage of the perfusion to the alveoli which is shown right here and finally this blockage the pulmonary circulatory blockage may leads to the pulmonary edema and uh, bronchospasm or bronchoconstriction eventually airway resistance these are the signs and symptoms of the pulmonary circulatory blockage of the air embolism the other hand increases the strain in the right ventricle or strain to the right ventricle because of the air trap it may be in the ventricle or may be in the pulmonary circulation that eventually leads to the decrease in the cardiac output and uh, right ventricular ischemia <coughs> and of course may leads to the arrhythmia because of the uh, myocardial infarction due to lack of blood supply to the right ventricular or ventricular muscles and leads to the heart failure and that further leads to the collapse of the circulatory system and may death the other hand 
the air may get trapped into the left ventricle in some times that leads to the, the decrease in the diastolic volume because of the air trap in the left ventricle and at time the air bubbles may enter into the coronary circulation that further leads to the blockage of the blood supply to the ventricular muscle particularly left ventricular muscle may lead to the arrhythmias myocardial infarction and the blockage of the blood coronary blood vessel is uh, shown right here and the disruption of uh, the coronary circulation may lead to the myocardial infarction and arrhythmias and further the blood may be passes through the iota and into the small blood vessels and uh, small blood vessels may be blocked particularly cerebral blood vessels and increasing the vascular resistance because of the air trap in the blood vessels and hypoxia or hypoxemia and further leads to the hypercapnia and uh, mainly the cardiovascular collapse may lead to the death these are the consequences of the pathophysiology of the air embolism so the air once enter into the circulatory system it may get trapped in the right vent ventricle or right heart and may passes through the circulatory system of the pulmonary bed and at time may into the left ventricle.